many people don't understand the various chapters in bankruptcy, what bankruptcy is about, how it works, and they need to understand that before they just jump into a bankruptcy or just find a bankruptcy attorney. What they need to do is consult with a bankruptcy attorney to see if what they're going to accomplish by it. I see a lot of people that are in foreclosure losing their homes. Many of those people require a bankruptcy filing before they can modify their loan. For instance, if somebody has a significant amount of unsecured debt, it's eating up their budget. If people have judgments for unpaid credit cards or car repossessions uh, or serious issues on their credit, um, if they have liens and judgments against them from lawsuits, many people need a bankruptcy filing to get rid of that. And so that that way they're in a good position to modify their loan or to do an exit plan. What cha there's chapter seven is what's called a liquidation. It doesn't save your home, but you don't lose your home from the seven. If as a general rule, depending on the equity in the home. If your home uh, has little, uh, you know, certain amount of equity, there are exemptions, uh, you know, roughly $45,000 worth of exemption for a married couple, half of that for a uh, single person. But if you don't have a lot of equity in your home, um, a trustee is not going to want your home. Uh, the reason people lose their homes in, in bankruptcy is there's equity in the house and a trustee that's appointed wants to use that equity for the creditors. If you don't have equity in your home, the trustee should abandon any interest they have in the home and you can proceed. Chapter 7 does not catch up your mortgage. Chapter 7 does not do any type of modification or any way to save your house. What chapter seven does is put you in a position so that then when you go to your lender for a modification, you don't have the problems of the liens, the judgments, the credit cards, or other issues that keep you from being modified. So your cash flow works at that point. Chapter 13 is the reorganization. For chapter 13 to work, you have to have sufficient income to make it work. What that means is, if you file a Chapter 13, your arrearages are put into a plan of reorganization. That plan can take up to 60 months. So if you take your arrearages, let's say for instance you're $30,000 behind on your mortgage, and that's the only debt you have. You would take that over uh, 60 months, let's say, that would be about $500 uh, dollars a month. You would pay that, plus you would pay your normal mortgage payment, your scheduled payment. Where most people run into trouble is they're having problems making their payment, and then you tack on the plan payment, the, the reorganization plan, and many of them fail because they don't have the cash flow to make it work. So before considering a Chapter 13, you really need to first try to modify your loan. Maybe you need a 7 first to clean up debts. Maybe you don't. But if you have a 13, generally you want to make certain that you can make it work. Um, otherwise, you, you've wasted time and money and you really haven't saved um, the situation. I look at Chapter 13s as a last-ditch effort if you have the income to do it. Um, many people, many attorneys will try to, to sell you a Chapter 13 um, in the hopes it'll work. And quite frankly, if, if there's not a real prospect of it, um, it's not a viable solution in every case. Some people file a Chapter 7 in order to get personally discharged on their mortgage. If you file a Chapter 7, the mortgage is not discharged as to the property, but the note you signed 
will be discharged as to the borrower individually. What that means is, individually, you're not legally obligated to pay it if the seven discharged it. However, if you want to see your house free and clear, and if you want that uh, mortgage removed from the real estate, then you need to deal with the mortgage lender.